Hi there, it's Linda here. Thanks for joining me today as I play along with these goodies you can see here from Happy Little Stampers. I'm using the Wish You Were Here stamp set and first of all, for my first card, I'm lining up my images, deciding where I want them. I'm going to have one card where the images are lined up straight and the second card they will be positioned more haphazardly on the background so this one I want them all to be straight up and down so I'm just working out where I want each image to go and then I'll be stamping in Versamark embossing ink so that I can emboss them with silver embossing powder. As you can see I've added my Ranger silver embossing powder which I really do love it's a great color and little stray bits of embossing powder have clung on to the card even though I did use my embossing buddy the little powder bag so a nice clean paintbrush is very useful for just getting in around those little spots where embossing powder is clinging on Grab out my heat tool and getting all that embossing powder melted. I'm really enjoying using this removable adhesive at the moment when I'm doing any sort of border colouring to attach my cardstock to my craft mat instead of taping the card around the sides which is what I would have done before so that's all taped in place and as you can see I sprayed my Strathmore Bristol smooth card with clean water and I sprinkled on some of the brilliant red brush o powder and you saw it reacting with the water and now I'm adding some of the turquoise and a little bit more spray of clean water here just to get those colours blending. And it's a lot of fun playing with these brushos. I love the way they react to the water, but also I love the way you come back later and see how it's dried. And it's also uh, a different look, sometimes quite unexpected the way the different colours have melded together and the different depth and highlights that you achieve. I've allowed the piece to dry overnight as you can see here and I made a second one with the images at different angles and a couple of sentiments stamped on it as well. So now I'm just organising the layout of my cards and I'm going to choose some coordinating pattern papers to have at the top so I'm just die cutting a nice little angle at the top of each card with those dies that I've listed there and then I'll be finding some coordinating pattern papers to add <music> Thank you. 
Right, now my orange card has its sentiment all sorted out already, but I hadn't added anything to the blue one, so I've taken the little Bon Voyage sentiment out of the stamp set, and I want to put it at an angle at the top there, as you can see on along that die cut edge. So I'm using my little grid, piece of grid acetate, lining it up on that, making sure it's straight and in the spot where I want it, eyeballing and just figuring out if that's exactly the right spot, too high, too low. And then I was going to pull the acetate away and then thought, no, I might stamp on the acetate first then I'll be able to just check that it's in the right spot and it was pretty good. Then I was going to grab my little chamois and I was about to wipe off that sentiment and I had another thought that I would just move it a little bit over that way and lay my stamp on top of the sentiment this time and then I'd be definitely stamping it exactly where I wanted it. So that's what you see me doing here, just lining it all up carefully, picking it up on the lid of my Misty, and now I can wipe off the residue on the acetate, move that out of the way, and Versifying Onyx Black Ink, of course, always gives a beautiful, clean, dark impression. And a finishing touch is again some Nouveau crystal drops and you'll see me adding them in a triangular formation. Again that is just to move the eye around the card so I place the drops where you might find the points of a triangle. Using the Neptune again on the orange card and the beautiful sherbet pink colour. <music> 